Did you know that Wyoming has the smallest population of any state in the United States? It's true. In fact, the entire state of Wyoming has a population 14 times smaller than New York City, 7 times smaller than Los Angeles, and 5 times smaller than Chicago. Some states have small populations due to their limited landmass. However, even the smallest states by area, Rhode Island and Delaware, have more than double Wyoming's population. Interestingly, Wyoming is the 10th largest state by area, but its tiny population of 578,000 makes it the least populated state by far, despite being about 11 times larger than New Jersey. The area we now call Wyoming was first inhabited by Native Americans thousands of years ago. Wyoming's journey as part of America began when the Wyoming Territory was created from parts of Utah, Delaware and Idaho in 1868. Much of Wyoming's land was initially acquired through the Louisiana Purchase. As part of the American West, Wyoming was included in the famous Oregon Trail, which was crucial in establishing the west coast of the United States. However, Wyoming didn't become a state until July 20, 1890. Believe it or not, its limited population was the reason for the delay. The United States government required at least 60,000 residents for a territory to gain statehood. It wasn't until Joseph Carey, Wyoming's delegate at the time, exaggerated the population that Wyoming was admitted as the 44th state. You might be wondering why Wyoming has always had a small population. Well, there are several reasons for this. Wyoming never attracted significant settlement initially due to its harsh climate and challenging geography. The state is dry, has cold, snowy winters, and rugged mountainous terrain. Even Cheyenne, the largest city in Wyoming, has a modest population of 65,000 and limited amenities, attractions, or opportunities. We'll discuss Cheyenne more in a moment, but other cities in Wyoming are even smaller. Casper has 58,000 residents, Gillette has 32,000, and Laramie, the fourth largest city, has just 31,000. Cheyenne, with a metropolitan population of 100,000, is not only the largest city but also the capital of Wyoming. It's a safe city with low unemployment and more economic opportunities than anywhere else in the state. Cheyenne is home to Taco John's, Greenhouse Data, and the Sierra Trading Post. The city has a median household income of $68,000 and a median home price of $369,000. Cheyenne is growing at an annual rate of about 2%, well above the national average. While Cheyenne is growing healthily, Wyoming as a whole is barely growing. This is puzzling, considering Wyoming has no state income tax, a growing energy employment sector, and is a major tourism destination thanks to its renowned skiing, hiking, and kayaking. Most of Yellowstone National Park, America's first national park, is in Wyoming, attracting visitors seeking an escape from the congestion of big cities. Another aspect of Wyoming's limited population is that the state isn't actively seeking new residents. Wyoming operates at a surplus, with billions in rainy day funds and a growing energy economy. The residents seem content with the extra space and relaxed pace of life something unique to places like Wyoming, with just 5.85 people per square mile. You don't go west to compromise or make yourself more comfortable. You don't go west to settle down, hurry up, or draw a crowd. The truth lies west and it's time to discover yours.